being green was a good first step, but it's really a baby step. What's different this Earth Day is that we can change the focus from what we do. Do you take a bike? Do you drive a car? To the things we buy. Mm -hmm. Because actually most of the problems on the planet are driven by a huge industrial machine that's cranking out pollutants. It's cranking, it's putting chemicals into our rivers, into our bodies uh, that create disease. It's doing many, many things. And you know who's driving it? Us. Mm. But until today, we have never had access to the information that would help us do anything sane about it. Now we can be very smart. There's a new discipline. It's an academic discipline called industrial ecology. It's a group of industrial engineers, chemists, physicists, and so on, who are getting very precise metrics about the entire life story of any product. So they can tell you from the point of extraction of materials, concoction, uh, manufacture, uh, taking it to the store, the transport, time in store, your use, disposal. They can give you metrics that are extraordinarily exact for how much at this point, in this step, you're putting uh, pollutants into the environment, you're creating disabilities in people down the road. They have amazing metrics. And it, for example, if you make a glass bottle, right. there are 1,959 distinct steps that these folks analyze. Each one has a full spectrum of impacts. And now all that information is available to you and to me at the store as we're about to buy that stuff. So there's something called Good Guide, one word, Good Guide, which you can download in your iPhone. And when you go to the store, it gives you access to this database, but it sums it up for you. It'll take anything you're going to buy, compare it to everything else in its product category, rank it for you in terms of what's the least, uh, what's the best impact on the environment, what has the least carcinogens and poisons in it, and it'll make it very easy for you. The great news for Earth Day today is that there's a simple way for you and me, every time we go to the store, to vote with our dollars for a better world. So what ingredient really surprises you? When you find something in a product, what, what uh, is I'll, a real shock? I'll tell you, the biggest shock for me was that there is an ingredient called oxybenzone in children's sunblock, which becomes a carcinogen when it's exposed to the sun. So uh, knowing what it is you buy can hurt you. Daniel Goldman, thanks so much. Pleasure.